Welcome to Fan Fun Friday. Ooh. We have one goal in mind, one mantra, one mission statement here in 2017 and beyond. And that is hashtag make wrestling fun again. Now how can you help? How can you do your part? How can you step up to the plate? What you can do is take a look at that little button over there that says subscribe and you can hashtag subscribe or die. This channel should be bigger. This channel should be better. And the bigger we get, the bolder we can be. Hashtag subscribe or die as we try to hashtag make wrestling fun again here in 2017. One of the most important things we could do is have some fun at our own expense. And too often I see people that get so emotionally wrapped up in wrestling and so emotionally wrapped up in their fragile egos and their insecurities and their bullshit that this comes both from the people that watch videos and frankly the people that make videos too. You disagree with them. It's name calling. It's foul language. It is, well, I guess it's me too. Uh, but more importantly, it's uh, trying to get people to flock, to bash on somebody and kind of cyber bully them and potentially blocking them. Well, the Schlag Daddy doesn't do that shit. I don't believe in that shit because ultimately everybody should have a voice. Even if I'm a knucklehead, even if a lot of you are knuckleheads, we at least have the right to be heard. And sometimes it's okay for us to say bad things about each other too. I don't have a problem with it. I think it could be fun. I really do. And I'm perfectly fine at this stage of my life, 36 years of age, to be able to take an honest look in the mirror and acknowledge who I am, what my strengths, and most importantly my shortcomings are, and accept them, embrace them, own them. Why run from them? Why hide from them? Why be ashamed of them? I am what I fucking am. And hopefully, if anything else, some of you can get that out of this video too. Because man, I tell you, sometimes when you do videos on YouTube, people have some not so nice things to say. And in fact, they say some downright mean, nasty, and disgusting things. You people should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of yourself. Lo and behold, it happens anyways, such is the nature of the internet. So I figured, let's celebrate this, let's embrace this, and let's have some fun at my expense as a wrestling fan reads mean YouTube comments. Get nuts, people! Let's get nuts! Hashtag make wrestling fun again! The names of the offenders, the perpetrators, the assholes, the geniuses, depending on your perspective, maybe all of an accommodation of who knows, have been withheld. Even though knowing this, they don't like me, but they're still going to watch the video, call out that it was one of their comments, then sit there and shit on me some more and say something even nastier with the secret hope and they get some attention from me in a future video. And guess what? It's probably going to work. Let's get started. Let's you are the biggest mark on YouTube, says the guy watching the video. The first 20 seconds were cancer. Probably. Fook you. I appreciate the fact that somebody came up with a whole new profanity specifically for me. But ultimately, it's not fuck you, it's fuck you! Keep shaving your head and fake laughing and I'll come see you, you hick. A couple of things here. Number one, hashtag the laugh is real. Number two, heck, heck. Number three, is this redneck way of saying we gon' find you? Where's your hairline, you ugly ass faggot? My hairline is right here. 36 years old, you wish you still had this much hair. Don't be mad because I've got more hair on my head than you have on your head, chest, back, and ass crack combined. You toxic faggot. You know what? Hashtag schlegaids should trend on Twitter, shouldn't it? Here's a good one. You're a filthy race mixer, Jeff, only liking those darkies. You definitely have low standards. <laughs> Number one. Once you go white, you know you've been licked right. Number two, I can't help but they love me. Number three, they likes to get nasty. And number four, most importantly of all, baby, when you're looking at your white woman in her 40s and 50s and her face is six shades of fucked up, hashtag black don't crack, bitches. I'm single at home, 2 a.m. in the morning, watching a 40-year-old man dancing and grinding, fuck my luck. Lucky bastard, and I'm 36. 36. Fucking 40, what the hell? This guy's an idiot, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Stop supporting this clown. He looks like a cross between Kane and Uncle Fester. Kane and 
Uncle Faster? This guy's another effing idiot. Ding! With one additional thing. I'm not just another effing idiot. I am the ultimate idiot! Let's get it right, bitches! And then, of course, there's always these funny guys that have to talk about the Schleg Daddy and his decreasing testosterone levels and how it impacts his body. Nice dad gut. Dad gut? Dad gut? Look at this. Look at this. Does this look like a... Yeah, it really does look like a dad gut. Uh, hashtag Schleg Daddy sit-ups maybe needs to trend a little bit. Schleg, not the man titties. Man titties? This is an impeccable man rat, thank you very much. Number two, there are divas on the WWE roster, excuse me, women's wrestlers, because that's the fuck where we're at now, that wish they had this rack, hashtag C page. No man titties, here's some man titties for you. And you keep it up, there's going to be some more for you. Now you make sure they fucking jiggle. What else somebody got to say? Oh, we got a wise ass here. Dolph Ziggler is better than you, it eats you alive, doesn't it? Dolph Ziggler. The only thing he's better at than me is having creepy deviant porn saved on his fucking computer and mobile devices. Period. That and rocking suspect middle school girl hairstyles. Michael Jordan played baseball. Now listen here. Of all the shit you could say, this just really chops my ass. It grinds my gears. Michael Jordan never played baseball. Stop buying into these mainstream media hashtag fake news lies. It didn't happen. How dare you? How dare you? The man is the greatest basketball player of all time, a living legend, a god amongst men, who unselfishly left the NBA for two years, two years, because the universe needed to be saved. What the fuck am I talking about? How dare you not know what the fuck I'm talking about? I'm talking about when he left the NBA after winning three state championships, when he could have won so many more, to sit there and go and save the universe from the basketball playing aliens called the Monsters, and he didn't have to sit there and go form a super team. He did it with Bill Murray and Bugs fucking Bunny. And how do you know this is true? Because there is a documentary of it. It's called Space Jam. You can find it everywhere. Why? Because it's one of those historical items that everybody needs to know about what this world happened is about. All of that shit. Michael Jordan saved the universe from the basketball playing monster. They had stolen Charles Barkley's powers, Muggsy Bogues' powers, Sean Bradley's powers. What the fuck were we supposed to do? We were doomed. 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 And he self unselfishly gave up his career as the greatest of all time to go save the universe. And then he came back and won three more titles just to establish his big dick dominance. And people want to talk about he played baseball. Bullshit! That was clearly a robotic replica that in no way measured up to the real man. What the fuck is next? We're going to sit there and talk about how he played for the fucking Washington Wizards. Man, get a clue, get laid, get a life, fuck you. This was fun. We don't ever talk about Michael Jordan playing baseball, bitches.